Transport phenomena in biosystem module 5 equation of change for exothermal system segment 2 equation of motion with me user from bioengineering study program school of life sciences and technology institute technology bandung previously we have discussed about the equation of continuity in this segment we will discuss about the equation of motion Equation of motion is developed by writing a momentum balance of a volume element delta x delta y delta z fixed in space through which a fluid is flowing as shown in the right figure and can be expressed by equation 5 5. First, let's consider the rates of flow of the x component of momentum into and out of the volume element shown in the right figure. Momentum enters and leaves delta x delta y delta z by two mechanisms convective transport and molecular transport. The rate at which the X component of momentum enters across the shaded phases at X by all mechanisms both convective and molecular transport is shown in the figure and the rate at which it leaves the shaded phase at X plus delta X. The rate at which X momentum enters and leaves through the phases at Y and y plus delta y is also shown in the figure. Similarly, the rate at which x momentum enters and leaves through the phases at z and z plus delta z are shown in the figure. These contributions are added to get the net rate of addition of x momentum as shown in equation 5 6. In addition, there is an external force, typically the gravitation force, acting on the fluid in the volume element. The X component of this force can be expressed by equation 5-7. Equation 5-6 and equation 5-7 give the X component of the three terms on the right side of equation 5-5. The sum of these terms must then be equated to, to the rate of increase of X momentum within the volume element. When this is done, we have the X component of the momentum balance. When this equation is divided by delta X, delta Y, delta Z, and the limit is taken as delta X, delta Y, and delta Z goes to zero, the equation becomes equation 5, 8. Similar equations can be developed for the Y and Z components of the momentum balance as shown in equation 5, 9 and equation 5, 10. By using vector tensor notation, these three equations can be written as shown in equation 511. Inserting V equals to rho VV plus rho do plus tau will result into an equation of motion as shown in equation 512. For the next segment, we will discuss about the equation of mechanical energy. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.